Hey, what's going on, guys? Root of the Null here, coming back at you with another Python tutorial. Let's fire up idle, and let's get to programming. I'm going to create a new script here, save this as a uh, file.python. USR, bin, environment, Python, we get our shebang line started. Create a new class. Uh, define a constructor. Initialize this with the self keyword, pass in as a parameter, as always. Now let's go test if this is the current script, if name is equal to main. And now we can create a new object, and we can start programming. Alright, I'm going to create a string variable, I'm going to call it self.string, and then set its value to uh, this uh, string has random cases. There you go. <coughs> Alright. Now, the function that I want to show you guys today is uh, evidently called swap case. And what this will do is it will swap every lowercase letter that you see in your string for an uppercase letter, and every uppercase letter you see in your string into a lowercase letter. So if we print out our original string, first of all, print out self.string, let's concatenate on some new line characters here so our code's a little bit pretty, and now we can uh, print out the, uh, the function self.string, it's always going to be your string's name as a variable. You can use your dot selector and then run swap case. Now luckily, swap case does not take any parameters. It just gets the job done. So now that H has been turned to a capital H, the, uh, the I's and the S's have been turned into lowercase, and, uh, and then everything, everything in the string has been changed from uh, capital, at least lowercase nd to the capital nd and that sort of thing. You can see there's an evident difference here, but it doesn't touch any of our spaces or our exclamation points or anything that isn't a letter. So we better be able to make up for that inside of our own function. And let's go ahead and start writing our own. Let's uh, define it with our DEF keyword. I'm going to call mine swap case. I'm going to pass in the self variable as always and the string to swap. Alright, let's get our code block started. And now we're going to use a new string. This is going to be a blank string for now, but this is what we're going to return, because we can't modify the string that we've been passed to it, so we have to create a new one. And then let's get the length of the alphabet, because we're going to have to loop through some things. So alphabet length equals uh, the length of the len function of string, and then you can pass in either ASCII uppercase or ASCII lowercase. I'm going to pass in lowercase. And now remember we're using this string module here, so we have to go up, uh, go up to the top of our script and type in import string so we can have access to everything that's inside that module. Now we can begin to loop through, uh, through all the things inside of our string. So for character in string to swap, we can uh, sort of create a code block here, and then we can test if the character is in string dot ASCII lowercase. So if it's a lowercase uh, letter, what we're going to do is we're going to begin to loop through all of those things that are inside the lowercase. So we can do for i in range, and we'll pass in the length of the alphabet. So we can start counting, and we can index with i um, whatever letter we need. So now we can test once more if string, uh, let's see, dot ASCII lowercase since that's the one we're testing for this time, i is equal to the current character that we're looking at. Character. What we can do is we can add from new string, we can append on there, string.ascii uppercase, so we can switch the, the case of the letter, and we're going to pass in that i variable as an indexer. So that way we get the current character, just the uppercase form of it. And then we can break out of the for loop that we're going in right now. And now we're going to want to create this as a, a new case. So if we can we can test else at the uppermost if statement that we have here. If the character is in ASCII lowercase, we're going to want to test if the character is, uh, is inside the string.ascii uppercase. So we're just going to do the same thing here, but reverse. So now we can do a for loop for i in range, alphabet length, get a new code block, and test if the uh, string.ascii uppercase, and the current i variable, is equal to the character that we're looking at. If it is, we can add on 
new string plus equals string dot ASCII lowercase and then pass an I. Now we can break out of our current for loop and we should be done here. But now, once we have this ELF statement, we've tested for things that are lowercase and then for ca for uppercase. So now what we should do is test for it's not if it's in uppercase or lowercase. So if it's a, if it's a space or that exclamation mark that we had. So what we're going to do is have the if that's inside this ELF statement, and we'll add an ELF statement onto there. So if it's neither lowercase or uppercase, if it's not a letter, then what we're going to have to do is new string and then add the current character. And now we're done looping. So when we break out of this topmost loop here, what we can do is we can return the new string that we've created. So if we go up here and we uh, we go back into our constructor and we run this self.swapcase, remember we named that function, and now we can pass in self.string. So we can run this, and we have the exact same output as the swap case that we ran beforehand. So now we can change some of the cases in here. This string has random cases and that sort of thing. It'll still change it the way appropriate, to change it the way it should. So, look what we've done. <laughs> this we've created a interesting function here. It solves the same thing that the original swap case function would do, but we've taken a look at it and see how it works on the back end. And uh, we're using the string module to be able to test for uppercase and lowercase letters and that sort of thing. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I know this one is a little bit simple, but hey, <laughs> the more easy the better. Thank you guys for watching again, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.